you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing tons of organization tips and tricks with you guys. And I'm also going to be sharing some huge before and afters of so many different spaces around my house using these organization tips. Also today's video is sponsored by Amaze Apartment Homes here in Charlotte, North Carolina. You guys have heard me talk about them so many times. I love them so much. So in just a few minutes, I will share more about them with you guys. But thank you so much to Amaze Apartment Homes for sponsoring this video today. Okay, so the very first tip I have for you guys is to organize your most used cleaning products in a caddy. That will keep everything neat and in its place so you can just pick up the caddy and take it along with you from room to room. This is how I used to organize our clothes and fold them and put them in the drawers and it just was not working. I mean, you have to dig through down under to find what you're looking for and it just kind of creates a mess every time I was doing it. So I recently learned the KonMari folding method. And if you are not familiar with that, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Okay, so I'm gonna start with one shirt just to show you guys how to do it. And I've read in different places to lay it flat facing up. Some people say face it down. So I'm just gonna be facing it down. And then I'm gonna fold one side of the shirt across and then the other. And then I'm gonna fold it in half and then fold it into thirds. And then you're gonna stand it up on its own and it will stay just like that. I'm gonna do that again. So face it down, spread it out, fold it in half. I'm gonna flip the sleeves over right there and then fold it again and then into thirds. Then I'm gonna stand it up right there and it's already looking good. I just love the way that that looks and feels. It's so much cleaner looking than on the right side where all those clothes are just kind of stacked unevenly. So here is a side-by-side -side comparison of how the clothes look in the drawer. I think the side on the left just looks so much more neat and you can see every single shirt, the details on it. So you know exactly what you're pulling out and you can see it at first glance instead of digging through and searching for a shirt underneath a pile. Now I'm going to be putting the shirts back in the drawer into columns. I've seen people use dividers and separators to do this, but I honestly didn't feel like spending the money on that and I'm just gonna keep it side by side like this. However, I will admit that the separators do make it look a lot more clean and organized than it already was right there. If you have watched my videos before, you have heard me mention Amaze Apartment Homes. These are luxury apartments here in Charlotte, North Carolina in the super trendy Noda district. So I'm gonna show you the inside of some of their apartments and how I would organize each space. Okay, so in this bedroom next to each side of the bed, they have a nightstand that is exactly the same on each side. So that already looks super aesthetically pleasing. So in those nightstands, you would put anything that you need, but doesn't necessarily look cute out, like remotes, glasses, things like that, just to make it a clean and tidy space. Then we're gonna move on into the bathroom here. And I love how they are only keeping decor items on the top and then underneath you have all that storage so you don't need tons of things out all over the counters so you can put it in each side. There is a his and her side or if you're like me and you are single, you can use all of that space all to yourself. And then over here they have the linen storage. So that is perfect for all your towels, washcloths, everything else. Now I'm gonna show you in this bathroom over here real quick. Again, leaving out either decorative items or the items that you would use every single day that you reach for constantly out on the counter and then everything else away in the cabinets underneath. And if you do not have built-in storage for your linens, like that linen closet in the last bathroom, you can purchase one of these off of Amazon or any home store that you go to pretty much has these. And there you can store all of your linens neatly on display and some other decorative items. Now we're gonna step into the kitchen and this is my favorite place to organize and just a minute you're gonna see my kitchen and how I organized it but in this space you can change the cabinet color from white to brown on their feature on their website 
There's tons of cabinet space to work with here. Right in these next to the microwave and above that counter, I would put my spices, baking supplies, baking soda, things like that. And above the microwave, since I am short, I would put things that I do not reach for on a daily basis, just on an occasional basis, just because I can't always reach. And the things that you do use on a daily basis, you wanna keep really easily accessible. Down below in these cabinets is where I would put my pots and pans. I would store those, and then the drawers above, I would put my utensils, such as my spatulas, things like that. Over here, again, you can change the color of the cabinets. Up in these cabinets, I would keep my plates and cups because it's right above the sink and dishwasher. So after you wash them, you can easily store them right above. And then again, above over there, I would keep things that I do not reach for on a daily basis. Down here, I would keep my cleaning supplies right next to the dishwasher and sink where I'm gonna be using it the most. And then over here is where I'm gonna be keeping all of my utensils, my fork, spoons, things like that. Other things that you could use to prep food and underneath that cabinet, I would probably put some food storage containers for after I am done cooking and want to put my food away. And now going over to the living room, an item like this is perfect for your space because you can conceal all of the things that you would need in your living room but that you don't wanna leave out, like extra blankets, gaming systems, remotes, things like that that don't look cute out laying around but that you still want in there. And once again, thank you so much to Amaze Apartment Homes for sponsoring today's video and collaborating with me. I will have all of their information in the description box down below and you can go on their website and check out how stunning these apartments are for yourself and you can take a look inside any of them or set up your tour today. Okay, if you guys have seen my mommy routines, this is in almost every single one. I swear by these things. You can get them at the dollar store. My next tip is to take advantage of vertical space. So as you can see, this takes up barely any space in my daughter's closet and in it I can fit so many different things, but I personally use them in both of my kids' rooms for organizing their clothes for the entire week. So in each one of these little cubbies, I guess you can call it, I have their clothes for the daytime and then I also have their pajamas and for my daughter I have a pull up. So in each one of these I have a shirt, a pair of shorts, a pair of underwear for the day and then I also have their pajamas for nighttime. This is Everly's nightstand right next to her bed and my next tip is when you can divide the space, separate things so that it's easier, especially for kids, because the more things you have stuffed and crammed together, the more overwhelmed they're gonna be. And I mean, the same thing for me, I get overwhelmed with things like that very easily. So in here I have a little purse that she likes to carry and then an extra lovey, three pull-ups and a blanket. Next, use clear containers when you can so that you can see the entire contents of each container. That way you don't have to be digging through the bins or anything like that. You can just see right there exactly what you have. So in the past, I would organize things in a somewhat decent way and then over the next couple months, things would just get out of hand. And that is because when I was organizing, I was not decluttering beforehand. So I was keeping all of this stuff that I still was not gonna use and knew I wasn't gonna use. But in my mind, if it was organized and at least it would look better. So I took the time to go through everything, decluttered, got rid of 90% of the things I believe and kept what I know I'm going to use, the things that I use on a daily or weekly basis and tossed everything else. So my next tip is to get storage items that maximize your space like this one right there. And that is going to help keep all of your things in a very neat and pretty way, but also saving a ton of space. So instead of piling those pans and those lids all over the place, you have them in one neat place where you can easily reach and grab and see every single one. Also get stackable items when you can, cause it's gonna save so much space. These right here save so much space just by stacking them on top of each other and the fact that they fit into each other made it so much easier. Back there I have my skillet, which I don't use as often, so I keep that in the back, and then the pots and pans that I do use on a daily basis, I keep towards the front. So make it accessible for you, the things you hardly ever use or use maybe once a month, keep in the back like that fruit bowl for entertaining, and then keep everything else in the front. This was my utensil drawer. Again, I hardly used anything in here. There were some very old knives, tons of serving ware that I never used. I don't entertain people here. I don't have people over at my house often at all. So I got rid of everything that I knew I have not used since I moved in two years ago and things that I know I'm not going to use probably at all, or at least for the next couple years. So once you declutter that space and get rid of anything you don't need or use, it becomes so much cleaner and organized already. 
This was a mixture of my junk drawer and my aluminum foil drawer, and I moved those drawers. So this is all of the parchment paper, aluminum foil, little plastic baggies. So I stored all of these together because I feel like these are just the kind of things that belong together in a drawer. And then next I use this old container to store my sweetener in. So they fit perfectly in there, and I think it actually looks really aesthetically pleasing. This drawer and cabinet that I'm about to show you are my kids' cabinets and drawers. I like to keep things where they can reach them so that when they help me set the table, they can help set their own places and they can grab a cup when they need to, but it was just out of hand. The fact that they are able to get into this drawer and cabinet means that it gets pretty chaotic and especially if it doesn't have an organization flow to it already, it just gets out of hand quickly. So I put all of those back there. Those are their food storage containers for lunches if they ever go back to school. These are their cups stacked neatly. They have their own utensil section, straws, and lids for Everly sippy cups. This was my Tupperware storage and several other things clearly, but it was again getting way out of hand. Like this is just completely unacceptable. So I cleared this out, decluttered it again before organizing, and this is how it turned out. I got rid of a good 90% of things again, and what I did decide to keep was so easy to organize. These are my new food storage containers from Target. This entire set was under $10, and they all stack into each other to maximize your space once again and save tons of room. This was my cup, bowl, plate, mug, everything cabinet. I do not use any mugs. I never used these glasses. Half of these cups do not get used. The white bowls and plates and then the smaller plates, again, I never use. I use the pink ones. The blue ones are old. I decided to get rid of those blue ones. I kept the pink ones and stored the white ones on top if I ever do have guests just to keep those got rid of like 99.99% of those cups. Almost all of the mugs, the only ones I kept were the seasonal ones and two that my kids made for me. And this is the end result. It's so much more organized. I reach for these all the time. The cups that I do not reach for, I did not keep. That is very important. Declutter what you don't use or you will end up cluttered, I promise you. Again, maximizing my vertical space with this shelf organizer from the container store, and again, organizing by convenience. So the plates and cups, things I use on a daily basis, I'm keeping down there, and everything else goes up on the top shelf for the rare occasion that I will use it. Guys, I cannot stress enough the importance of cleaning before you organize and decluttering. I found so many things in here that I did not use. Look at the after. After I cleaned out things that were just old or unusable or broken. So once I cleared all of that out, this is what was left. And I'm actually using my old utensil organizer that you saw in the beginning of this. I was going to toss it, but then realized I could get so much use out of that for organization purposes. So I kept it and it worked. This was another drawer that I just have no excuse for. Decluttering again, this is what was left. The one on the left is the sharp things that I do not want my kids to touch. The one on the right is things like the whisk, the tongs, things like that, and then the rolling pin right there. So out of that entire drawer, this is what I use, this is what I kept. This was my junk drawer, and as you saw, I moved the aluminum foil and parchment paper over to its new drawer space, and this is now my junk drawer. So I have bag clips, some random pens and markers, and then some wine openers, and then in the back I have my pumpkin cookie cutter since it's that time of year, and then a lighter, some scissors, and those are some extra parts to my robot vacuum cleaner that I just like to keep on hand. Like I mentioned earlier, use clear containers when you are able to. You can see the entire contents, you can see when you're running low, and it takes up a lot less space than tons of bags everywhere in your cabinet, like chip bags, pretzel bags, and it looks so much neater. These are airtight containers. I'm showing you the prices on here. They're between four and $6.99 from places like TJ Maxx, Home Goods. You can find such good deals on these things, and they keep your food fresh so much longer. Like these things do not go stale.
Bathrooms can be a really easy space to organize, so everything that you do not use on a daily basis, such as toothpaste, toothbrushes, things like that, can go underneath the cabinet or stored away somewhere neatly. So just combine your items into a little container like that one right there that says brush your teeth, and that is all you need on your counters in your bathroom. And it's so easy to maintain because you just put the toothbrush right back in. Instead of having your kids toys all over the bathtub, get one of these things. It is super easy to hang. It just suctions on. I know mine is not even. So at the end of your kid's bath, just have them put all of the toys right in that and it is mesh so the water will drain out and they will dry before their next bath and it keeps the entire bathtub clean. My very last tip is to organize by color. I have a son and a daughter, so I'm using blue and pink. And in their playroom, I organize their toys completely by color. So Jaden, my son, gets the blue bins and all of his toys he knows are in those. And then my daughter gets the pink ones and all of her toys go straight into those. Okay, that is all for my organization tips. I hope these helped you. Let me know down below in the comments what your favorite organization tip was. And once again, thank you so much to Amaze Apartment Homes in Charlotte, North Carolina for sponsoring today's video.